Sounds like something out of a sci-fi novel here. A microchip that rescues injured or failing organs. This breakthrough in regenerative medicine is actually being tested right now. Dr. Max is here to explain that and more. Doctor. I will. You're looking for more than one beer, though? Yeah, I that's... was just asking. Okay, all right. <laughs> you know, one of the hottest areas of medical research right now is using cells instead of drugs to treat diseases and injuries. But cellular therapies require finding or making the right type of cells, which can be difficult. Turns out the body can do it on its own with a little high-tech help. Only about the size of a cuff length, the device itself is small, but what it could represent is enormous. In this laboratory at the Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center, researchers demonstrate how it reprograms cells. Simply place this chip on an injured part of the body and apply a small electrical current. This process only takes less than a second and then you're off. The chip does not stay with you and the reprogramming of the cell starts. Then reprogramming turns skin cells into nearly any type of cell doctors might need to treat a patient, a breakthrough technology in regenerative medicine. For example, in a leg that is badly injured and lacks blood flow, doctors simply touch the chip to the leg and reprogram the skin cells to become functioning blood vessels. And it will quickly shoot the DNA right into the cells. Within a week, there are active blood vessels, and by the second week, the leg is saved. It's important to note that this has not yet been tested in humans, but after developing the concept, researchers were determined to test it in real life. So we tried them uh, on the mouse and put it on the skin. And you know what? It actually works. In this image, you can see the mouse's leg is injured, and vascular scans show there's little blood flow. After one touch with this chip, in just three weeks, the blood flow was back, and the injured leg was saved. Technology is not just limited to be used on the skin. In fact, in lab tests, it even worked in the brain, helping mice recover from strokes. In humans, this could allow doctors to grow brain cells on a person's skin under the guidance of their own immune system. They could then harvest those cells and then inject them into the brain to treat conditions like Alzheimer's or Parkinson's disease. And no immune suppression drugs would be necessary. Now, the electrical current actually opens up channels in the skin cells that allow the delivery of those factors that are known to change the expression of certain genes in those cells. But better yet, the reprogramming doesn't have to be in a hospital setting because there's nothing invasive about it. This could be the future of some really exciting medicine. Okay. okay. Thank, Thank you, Doctor. You bet.